Already. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, so so I'm gonna go ahead and start the first session, um, and then Sam's gonna come on in and talk about his tool called Realtors Turbo. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first session from 11 to 12, and Sam's gonna come on from 12 to 1 to talk about Realtors Turbo. Okay, it's basically a platform. Yeah, Realtors Turbo is basically a platform that automates all your social media platforms. Oh, all you yeah, basically it's a platform. You log into all your social media. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, everything you have. One post will post to all these social medias for you automatically. You don't have to log into each of them separately. You log into all your social media accounts in one system, and then you post schedule to all your systems within one system. Makes sense, right? One system, log into all your social media accounts. One post will post to all your social media accounts. Oh, all of them, Facebook. All of them, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. One post, person. post to all of them. Uh, that'll be starting at 12 to 1. Sam's gonna come on in, the, oh, the okay. recruiter. He's gonna come on in and show you guys how he uses that tool. Okay, but for this one, from, from now, from 11 to 12, we're gonna talk about how we can automate and schedule three topics for the whole month, okay? So for example, this month, right? This month, nothing is going out to none of you guys' clients, emails, or anything like that, right? It's blank. And there's some really, really nice things in the marketing resource, okay? In the marketing resource, there's a lot of good things in there. So what we're gonna do today, okay, look, if I have my calendar up, Okay, you see my calendar here? Okay, almost at the end of the month, right? So I'm gonna start August, and I'm gonna start with September, okay? I'm gonna automate everything for September through the marketing resource. Okay, it's the coming up month. I have nothing set up yet. I'm gonna set it up with you guys so you guys can see how it's done and how I do it, okay? So you see here, September, this is how I'm gonna have it laid out. And you guys can have it laid out too. So if you want, you can have the September calendar up as well. Okay, you see September has one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, right? Four full weeks, right? Okay, now I want on my campaign, okay, the September, four weeks. I want on the very first week of this month, on this very first week, I want a recipe campaign to go out, right? So on this, on this very first Monday, I have my recipes. Every first of every Monday is my recipes, right? Maybe on the second, second Monday is gonna be my um, holiday events, right? Okay, and my third week is gonna be my newsletter week, okay? Or you can, you know, you can have the fourth week, your home tip, okay? For every month now, you have a recipe for that month going out, you have a home tip for that month going out, and you have the newsletter going out for that month, and a holiday event going out for that month, right? Where did you get this from? Um, so, so if you're on Windows, you just click on the bottom, okay? There's calendar right there. Or if you're on Mac, you have it there as well, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it. August has passed already. Okay, so all we're gonna do for next month for September, we're gonna go and schedule this Mondays. Okay, I want Mondays, you can do Fridays if you want. On the 6th, you'd have something being sent out. On the 13th, you'd have, you'd have something being sent out. On the 20th and on the 27th, you'd have something being sent out. And on the next month, okay, October, boom, same results. Okay, newsletter, uh, newsletter should be something, uh, probably the last week, right? Because next month's coming up. Probably the last week will be good for the newsletter. Could be home tip here, could be a holiday event here, and it could be a recipe here, okay? And I'll show you how these look like. Okay, so far it makes sense, right? Right, we just wanna schedule for each of the month, okay? One month, four weeks, we're gonna have one topic for each of the week of the month, right? Okay, let me give you a quick example of what I mean, okay? So right from your system of VHHS Resource Center, okay? We're gonna click right inside of Marketing Resource, okay? Okay, so that's the very first step is to go to the resource center. Okay, this is, I'm gonna show you guys how we can schedule for the whole month, for the whole year even. Maybe for the whole two years too if you have time. You can go schedule for the whole five years, that way you don't have to ever open it up again. <laughs> okay. okay, step two. Okay, step two, click on library on the very top, okay? Okay, library top left. See that? Library top left, step two, right in here. Library in the top left. Okay, that's all you click on here. Library. Yep, on the very top left there. Okay. When you click that, this is where all your campaigns will pop up in here. See that? Everything's in here. But we want very specific campaigns, right? So here we can now step three, okay? Step three, search for your topic. Okay, search for that specific uh, campaign you're interested in, for that series you're interested in, right? 
So I am interested for that topic of recipes. See, mine's right here, recipes. There it is right there, recipes. What recipe are you talking about? All kinds of recipes, just something generic. Your leads, your clients will receive from you. Oh, a uh, oh, food recipe. Oh, yeah, like food right. recipes. Okay. See, look, see, there's tons of recipes in here for me to schedule. So it looks like there's enough for like three years, right? See, I have enough recipes for at least three years here. So you keep sending it to your clients? Yes. A, a but we're going to schedule it so you don't have to keep on sending it. I know, what I'm saying is um, reminder that yep, they're available. Yeah, yeah, see? You're not, you're not telling them. Some information, yeah. yeah. Just some information. You're not telling them, hey, come buy a home from me. You're telling them, hey, check out this recipe just so your face is there on that recipe, okay? That's the only thing we're sending this out, just so that your face will pop up right on those recipes here. That's the only thing, we don't care what the message say. We only care that your face is on that message. Okay, when they see your face, that's when they'll re remem remember you. Yeah. Okay, that's why we want to schedule every month. Yes. Boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. boom, going out, going out, going out, going out, right? Yeah. When they see it, sometimes they see the recipe, they really love it, yeah. and they share it with their friends. Yes. They forward it, they, they forward that email you received to their friends, and right. that friend can forward to their friend, right? Yes. And then boom, you're out there now. Yes. Okay? That's good. Okay, very good, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and go in here and pick a campaign to schedule, okay? But, you know, this recipe, you know, Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you can pick whichever one you like, and that month as well. Okay. I'm just gonna put up a calendar. See, September 2019, right? So you went into the library, right? Yep, library. Yep, my library. Okay, I like to have a calendar up. That way, I know what I am posting. Okay, so so far I'm going to be doing Fridays, okay, for this next month, I'm going to be doing scheduling on all the Fridays, okay, so boom, here, so I have this first week here, second week, third week, fourth week, so I'm going to make my very first weeks, I'm going to make it my recipe weeks, okay, so every, so September, October, October 1st, on the Friday, recipe is going to go out for every month of the first of the Friday. Recipe, recipe, recipe is going to be going out for the end of the year. Okay, so I'm going to make my first week on Fridays, I'm going to make that my recipe week of the month. Okay, maybe I will skip 13 and go to 20, and I'll make the 20th. Okay, I'll skip the first, the second week, not send anything. Okay, on the following week, I'm going to send out my home tips. Okay, so here, Friday is going to be my recipes, my home tips, and then on the last week of the month, I'm going to finish it off with the newsletters. Okay. So it's gonna, it's, it's gonna repeat for the whole month, okay? It's gonna be recipes, home tips, and newsletter. Next month, same thing, different recipe, different home tip, different newsletter. Next after that, right? Next, different recipe, different home tip, different newsletter, okay? Right now, I'm gonna go in and schedule my Friday on the 6th of September for a newsletter, uh, for a recipe to go out, okay? Watch how I would do it, okay? So for the first week of September, on the 6th of Friday, we're gonna have the recipe going out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and schedule that. And I'll write the steps as well, okay? So here we go. Okay, step three was to search for the series, okay? Series of what you like, okay? I like the recipes, that's my first one, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, here it is. These are my series. I'm going to go ahead and go with the very first one here. Okay, boom. There you go. There's my uh, tomato salad, okay? Get started. All the materials on here have has a get started button, okay? So click on get started, title it. Um, September 6th, right? So I can just schedule it. I know which, I know when this one's going out. Okay? Subject is going to be your title of what the client will see here on the email. Okay, and if you scroll down, you notice there's a uh, there's a yellow explanation mark. Okay, every time there's yellow, we have to be cautious and we have to go in and edit everything out and change it. Okay, you can either do two things here. You can either write your own message, or you can delete the whole thing and then click out of it if you don't want to write nothing on there. Okay, so you have two options. And there, if there's two people on here on the very le top left side, you see co-agent. Just go ahead and click co-agent and change that to single agent, okay? Co-agent to single agent, that way there is only you in the bottom, no one else, okay? This looks final, it's done, okay? 
That's it. That's all. I didn't even touch nothing. All I did was edit the yellow explanation marks, and it gave me a good sign here. Okay. Now. Okay. So let me pick up the notes again. Calendar part. Yeah. So. Oh, he's just pulling it up so he can. Oh. Yeah, just a generic of how. So, so you, 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 right? You would do it on Tuesdays. Maybe you would do it on Thursdays, okay. but I just chose Fridays. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, so just generic. Okay. Step four. Uh, step three. We search for a series. Step four. Um, select the template. Right. Okay. Select the template and get started. Okay. It's already put there for you. The subject, right? Right there. See that? A simple, refreshing salad recipe. Okay. Okay, co correct the yellow marks, okay? Those are the yellow explanation marks, okay? Step six, okay? Click on the email icon, okay? On the very top. Top right, okay? Just like that. Okay, here it is, see that right there? See that email icon? Boom, right there, okay? Click on that email icon, okay, that's step six. We're gonna go ahead and click on the email icon here. Okay, right here, see that? Click on that email icon. Now, after that step, this step is very important, okay? Step seven. Okay, step seven, you have to click add from address book, okay? Add from address book. If this person does not exist in your address book, then you have to do add contact and you add them in there, okay? Uh, there's uh, different ways of going about adding your whole database into the system, okay? So we can export out your whole email and upload it into the system, that way we're starting to email those people from your emails, okay? And I can help you guys out with exporting all of your email databases out and putting it into the system as well, okay? Step seven is very important, okay? It's add from address book, okay? A lot of people get stuck in this part. They're saying, hey, my contact isn't showing up in here. Up in here. It says um, no data available in table. Right. That's what they see. They're like, what's going on, right? I uploaded my data, right? It's because you have to click add from address book, okay? You have to click add from address book. Then you'll see your whole database popping up in here, okay? Okay, see, see now, you should, uh, so now if you see zero or nothing in here, okay, if you do not see nothing in here, that means you have zero contacts in there, okay? If yours shows nothing in here when you click add from address book, okay, just go ahead and click cancel if you see nothing in here, click cancel, okay? And then do add contact, okay? And add yourself on there, okay? Add yourself on there so you can see how it feels, okay? Add if contact. you were to add a real person, yep. Click on add contact. Okay, and go ahead, add yourself, add your uh, kids in there, or add your wife. And um, I have some contact in conversion. Mm-hmm, yeah, add the con conversion contacts in there, too. How? I mean, then you have to type it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? type in the name and email. Unless, you cannot import? Unless you have the CSV file that you can import. I see. Okay? So there's two ways of doing it. You can either manually start importing your contacts, uh -huh. or you can uh, come with me or you figure out your own way, or, or I'll be able to help you, too. Upload your whole CSV file into the system. Okay. Okay. So there's two ways. You can manually or import your whole file into the system. Okay. Okay. So if you do not have anything when you click Add from Address Book, okay. If you do not see some contacts appearing, uh -huh. okay, just click Cancel. Okay, just click Cancel and click Add Contact. Okay. okay? And just go ahead and fill in first name and last. Uh, just put in a name and email. Okay. Put in a name and email and then click Add from Address Book then you should see somebody pop up in here, okay? Just so you have a feeling of how it feels when somebody pops up in here. That way you get a feeling of how you can select and how you can send or how you can schedule to that person. Okay, so still on step seven, okay? Add from address book, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click, we're gonna do step seven now, it's add from address book, okay? Add from address book, okay? What address? In your in your database, in your resource center database. Resource center. Mm-hmm. When you do add from address book, see step seven is when I click add from address book. See these contacts appear, right? When you have thousands of them, you have okay. When you have thousands of them, this is making you manually click one on one.
Okay, what do you do if you have thousands of contacts? Do you click one on one? No. Or do you want to select one group that will select all thousand of them, right? Yeah. How, how, from here, do you see anywhere that will let you select groups? Right, no, right? No one sees it? Yeah. But if you look all the way up here, you see it says contacts and groups? Okay, yeah. that's where it's at. Okay, yeah. you see up here? You see on the very top where it says groups? Okay. Okay, so you have to click on groups. Okay, now you see this group, the migrated leads and contacts, has three contacts in here. Okay? I don't see that. Meet clients, this might have thousands of clients in there. So you just select one group that will select all of the thousands of people, and then you just click add selected. Okay? Let's see. I made it. Mm -hmm. Make it, make it. I, and I'll show I made it. Okay, that's the very important part there. Okay, it's step seven, that's a lot of people get stuck on. Okay, it's step seven. You have to click add from address book, and then you have to click on group, okay? Step eight. You have to click on group, right? Click on group, yes. Okay, step seven is click on address book, okay? Add from address book, and then you click on group on the top right, okay? By default, it's gonna put you on contacts. So then we click on groups. That way we don't have to manually select one by one all of the clients, okay? From we wanna the, upload them by groups. From here, you use email, right? Yep, email. Group. I did it, and then group. I don't see any groups. Yeah, so add from address book, step seven here, yeah. and then step oh. eight, groups. I see. There you go, okay? Okay. So far, everybody good on groups, right? Click on group, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this one more time. Okay, here we go, step seven, add from address book, okay? Click add from address book, and then you wanna click on groups on the very top right, yeah. okay, groups. That way you can select that whole group instead of selecting one by one. I see. Okay, okay once you have the group here, you wanna go ahead and select the group you would like, okay? The group you like the, your information to be sent to. So let's go ahead and select the group here, and then once you select the group, you click add selected, okay? Step nine. There you go, okay, there you see, you're seeing it. Okay, now we have two options, okay. Once we click at the selected, it gives us two options, right? In the very bottom, bottom, you see here, it says schedule and send now, okay. Now, if you remember my calendar here, I already have mine structured, right? Mine's on Fridays, right? So I'm gonna schedule, okay? So I have my six, 20, and 27, right? On the very bottom, the six, what goes out? My recipes goes out on every six of every month. I'm gonna make my home tip go out on every Friday on the 20th, and I'm gonna make my newsletters go out on every month on the 27th of last, on the very last week, okay? So right now, recipes, we're gonna schedule it for September 2019, Friday on the 6th, okay? Here we go, so we're gonna click from here, okay? This is step number 10, okay, step 10. Okay, step 10, click schedule. Okay, after you do two, three, four, four of these, after you do four of these campaigns, you're gonna be knocking them off easily. Okay, so, so, so I, uh, I can schedule the whole month in less than three minutes, okay? So you can schedule the whole year in less than 10 minutes. Okay, if you do this for a bit, you can schedule the whole year, this whole year in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so that's step 10, is click on schedule, okay? So watch what happens. After you click schedule, everything else is self-explanatory, right? So here we go, right? August, not August, right? I wanna start next month on September, okay? On the very, uh, that, this next arrow up here, okay, right next to the month section. Go ahead and click next, and then we're gonna go to Friday on the 6th, okay? <laughs> this is when I want it scheduled, okay? Here's my calendar, okay? Friday on the 6th, now I have to pick my date and time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and 7 a.m. in the morning, okay? Friday on 6th, 
Friday the 6th on 7 a.m. Okay, that's when I have the scheduled and schedule it. Okay, click on the schedule button and you should see down here instead of schedule, it's going to change to scheduled 7 a.m. at that specific date and time. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm done with my very first week of that next month. Okay, I have to do nothing on that very first week of the next month. Okay, so far we're good, right? So far we're on a good track. Okay, let's finish the steps. Step 11, pick date and time and schedule. Okay, step 12, done, okay, that's it. Up to 12 steps, you will have this, um, you'll have your whole resource center automated automatically, okay? Okay, that's the very first step, okay? We're gonna repeat it, we're gonna now go to the next, same month, but the second week of the month, right? We're gonna schedule our home tips now, okay? I finished my recipes, now we're gonna go to home tip. Let's schedule my home tip, okay? I'm gonna start from the very first step, okay? Step one, go to the resource center, right? Here, bhhsresource.com, okay? That's the very first step. That's Get out of here, don't you? Yep, so, so, so we're just following the steps again, okay? See? Step one is go to the resor uh, BHHS resource, Okay, here I'm gonna put a line. Marketing resource after you get in there, okay? Then we'll go to the BHSS resource, then we'll go to marketing resource, okay? Where's my marketing resource? There it is here, okay? Here's my marketing resource. I click on the marketing resource, okay? Now step two. Step two says click library on the top left, okay? Let's see if I find top left, there it is. There's library, okay? I got step two down. Let's see, step three, it says search for the series. Okay, now I'm looking for the home tip, right? So I'm gonna search here, home tip. Home tip, right? Let's see what I get. Okay, there is all of my home tip series here. Okay, looks like I got a couple of home tips here. Okay, let's see, what is step? Step four, select the template and get started, okay? Okay, I searched for the series of home tip now step four is select the template and get started okay now we're selecting the template and getting started okay so let's see let's do this one here i select this template and it's telling me to get started here okay select the template and click get started okay here you go i'm clicking get started now i'm going to give it a title okay title um this is going to be this is going to be friday i want it on the 20th okay so friday 20th september 20th okay I just titled September 20th, the date of when it's gonna be sent out. And it already puts in the, my subject for me so I don't have to type anything in here for, anything in there yet. Scrolling down, scrolling down. I see two yellow explanation marks, okay? Let's go back to my notes, see what it says. It says step five, correct the yellow marks, okay? That's where I'm at right now. Step five is correct the yellow marks. Here's a yellow here. I'm gonna click and remove everything. If you wanna type anything, you could do that as well. Okay, you have two options. You can either write your own message or leave it blank. Okay, if you leave it blank, erase everything and click out of it. Okay, there's still, step five still says there's, correct the yellows, there's still more yellows in here, okay? This person here, anybody knows how we can remove it? Right, everybody should know, right? Single, single agent, right? Okay, that's good, that means you guys get in it. Okay, top left. Okay, top left called single agent. Okay, now let's see, everything looks good, right? If there was something missing, these options would not have popped up for you, okay? If these options don't show up, then there's something missing in here, okay? If you see those options, that means everything's good to go, okay? Let's go back to the notes. It says step six. Click on the email icon top right, okay? Click on the email icon top right, okay? Click on the email icon top right. Where is this? There it is right here, see? Okay, so far we're good. Click on this here. Now let's jump into step seven. Okay, it says add from address book. Do we see that anywhere? Mm -hmm. Right, add from address book. There it is right there. See, add from address book. Now let's see what's the next step Why here. Okay, we'll, we'll look at yours. Okay, so add from address book. Now it says click on group, top right. Okay, what do you mean top right? There it is, groups right here, see that? Okay, the reason we click groups f is because when you have thousands of contacts, you have to manually select all thousands. Okay, you have to select one by one. But when you go to groups, 
you just select that one group with a thousand people inside of it and I'll select everyone with one click okay see like this person is three in here if I was in contacts then I'd have to manually select one two and three but if I were to go inside of groups these three contacts are in this group I just select this one group that will have everybody selected instead of selecting one by one okay let's see what's the next step here select the groups and click add selected okay step nine so I went ahead I selected my group here and I'm gonna select add selected just where right there it is right there add selected okay it's loading it says contact successfully added so there's my people now I see a couple of emails in here okay now if I go back to my steps okay I finished step nine what's step ten okay step ten click schedule Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is right here. Click schedule. Okay, it's going to be in the bottom. Okay, click on schedule in the bottom. Here it is. Okay, I click schedule. Now it looks like, looks like I have to select my date and time. Let's just go to the notes to make sure. Pick date and time and schedule it. Okay, perfect. Let's pick the date and time. So I know it's going to be on September 20th. Okay, because on the 6th, my recipe is going out. On the 20th, my home tips going out and on the 27th my newsletter is going out okay so here I'm going to do it the same time 7 a.m. as well okay so I'm gonna have it on September 20th on 7 a.m. and schedule okay perfect so now in the bottom it says here scheduled 7 a.m. 09 20th 2019 step 12 you're done okay that's it follow these 12 steps and then you'll have a schedule just like down here see that okay so this is the same step we're following for the whole calendar okay these 12 steps we follow for the whole calendar okay let's go back to my calendar okay so perfect so far I have Friday September 6th scheduled I just scheduled the 20th now let's go and schedule the 27th okay we're gonna go and schedule the 27th now the 27th is gonna be our newsletter series okay mm -hmm. Oh, you select the e-card. Okay. I do that. You, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you pick a template. It gives you an, uh, to make it look nice. It gives you an e delivery e-card. So I can choose the e-card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, choose the e-card, and then now, now they give you options to do everything. See? Yeah, it's in the e-card to make it look nicer. Wow. Yeah. See, six. Six schedule. The twentieth schedule. Now we're gonna do the 21, 27th, which is the newsletter series, right? Okay, let's follow back our 12 steps. Okay, I'm gonna start from step one, right? Let's go from step one, that way you guys get a good guess of it, okay? That way you guys know exactly how to do it. Okay, step one, go to the resource center, right? bhhsresource.com, that's very step one. Okay, let's see what's step two. Step, step one, resource center, I got there, now it says mar dash marketing resource. So it looks like we need to go to the marketing resource. Uh, marketing resource, there it is right there, I see it. See, marketing resource. Now let's see my notes. Okay, I'm in marketing resource, now it says step two, it says click on the library on the top left. Okay, top left, there it is, library, see that? So you got to print those notes out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, I can print them or put them in the notes as well in the videos. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you one. Okay, step three, search for the series, okay? Now we have to search for the series. This series is gonna be the newsletter, right? So I'm gonna type in news here. Okay, news or newsletter, however. Okay, now I need to look for September newsletter, okay? And look, it's right there in front of you. September 2019, talking real estate. Okay, here it is. Here's my newsletter, I spotted it. Now I'm gonna click on it, right? See, select the template and get started. Okay. Select the template and get started, okay? So we're gonna select the template and then we're gonna click on get started. See that? And get started, get started right up here. Click on get started and then title it. Okay, this is gonna be, I'm gonna send this out on the 27th of September. Okay, I'm gonna name it September 27th. Okay, which is my newsletter. Makes sense so far, right? Okay, good, good.
okay? My subject automatically there, everything in the newsletter is automatically written for you. You don't have to change anything in here if you don't like to, okay? You can make some adjustments if you want. Um, you can go in here, homeowners advice by, uh, put Linda here, Linda Stack, just like that, okay? So you can put by Sanjeev, by Hyun, okay? So, okay, you can add some nice things in there. Okay, home buyer's advice by Robert, okay? See, you're able to edit everything in there, okay? Homeowner's advice, homeowner's advice. There's another one here, homeowner's advice by Sir Jordan, okay? So you can put your own name in there. You can edit here as well. Whatever green you are able to edit. Everything you're able to edit, everything green. in there, okay? And if you're like, if you look all the way down here, this last article, you're like, this is really nice. I want this to be all the way, I want them to read this first. How do we make them read the last article first? Right, how do we move it up? Is it possible to move it up? Right? See, see this box in here? This box right here, right? Student debt is the one you want up here, right? See this sandwich? Just go like this, see? Just like that. Now it's all the way in the top. Okay, see this article down here? Watch it, see it updated? Now it's all the way up here. Student debt is up here now. Okay, boom. Now it's the very first article they can read. Okay, it's up to you. If you don't want to show it, click on that check mark. That will remove that article and show the other three that's there. Okay, so you can, so the, this newsletter is fully editable. Okay, just like that. Once it's done, what's the next step? See, this steps, this twelve steps follow all of the all of the templates in the resource center. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we did step four, which was select the template and click on get started. Right. Step five is correct the yellow marks. So it looks like there was no yellow marks in here. But we did go in there and we added our own words in there by Robert here, by Linda there, by Sidrud in there, by Hyun there, by Roberto, okay? So by everybody, okay? So you can put whatever you want in there, fully editable, okay? Once you're done editing, finished everything off, what's the next step here? Step six, okay? Step six is click on the email icon on the top right. Okay, let's see if we see it. Top right email icon, right? So let's Email icon anywhere in the top right, boom, email icon. Okay, that's what it's referencing to, the email icon right there. Okay, click on that email icon right here. See that? Click on the email icon. Okay, let's see what's the next step. Okay, step seven. Okay, step seven. It says add from address book. Okay, step seven is the one everybody misses. Okay. Okay, I'll put it in caps. Step seven. Okay, step seven, add from address book, okay? It's very important to click this button right after you click the email icon. Okay, email icon and click the add from address book right away, right after. Okay, don't even look at anything else. The second you click the email icon, you look at add from address book right away. Okay, when you click here, okay, notice, no data available in table because we did not click on add from address book yet. Okay, it doesn't say that step, it's kind of tricky, but we have to click add from address book first. Okay, add from address book. That will pull up your whole database of email addresses, okay? So we went ahead and did step seven. What's step eight? Step eight, click on the group on the top right, right? Click on the group in the top right. Let's see, okay, why, why do we wanna click on the group in the top right? Because if there's too many contacts, we don't wanna menu select one by one. Okay, we wanna go on the groups on the top right, and then we wanna select that one group that has thousands of contacts inside, okay? Okay, once you select it, I went ahead and selected my group. Let's see what's the next step, okay? S step nine, select the groups, which I did right now, okay? I have my migrated leads and contacts selected and click add selected. Okay, let's see where's add selected. There it is down here, see? Select your groups and click on add selected, right? Pretty simple steps, okay? Click add selected. Right now, let's see what's next. Okay, now step 10 is click schedule on the bottom, okay? Let's see if we see a schedule button in here, okay? Schedule, there it is right here. Okay, you have two options. Since we're scheduling based off the calendar of next month, we're gonna schedule these posts. If, you, if this was something you send out right now, you just click on send now, it will give you a confirmation to send now. Okay, you click send now, it's gonna send it to your whole uh, database. Okay, for this case, we're gonna go ahead and do step 10 which is click the schedule button click the schedule button okay right here click schedule okay what's the next step after we click schedule step 11 pick date and time and schedule it okay perfect let's see what we got 
So pick date and time. So remember my calendar. Um, I'm doing I'm doing every month on Fridays only, okay? So this is September of next month on Fridays only. I have the six my recipes here. On the twentieth, I have my home tip here. The twenty seventh is gonna be my newsletter, okay? I'm setting this up right now. The twenty seventh is gonna be my newsletter. Okay, I have this three Fridays scheduled already. Okay, next. Okay, so twenty seventh is next. So that's what I want to have on there. Okay, scheduled for the twenty seventh. There it is, right there. See that? September 2019 on the 27th? On 7 a.m. Okay, just go ahead and select 7, 0 a.m. See that? And click on schedule. Okay, schedule it. Okay, once you do step 11, pick date and time and schedule it. Step 12, you are done, okay? You should see it. You should see this button down here says scheduled 7 a.m. 0 2019. Okay? So, so far, what do we do? Okay, so far, we have recipe scheduled on Friday the 6th, we have a home tip scheduled on the 20th, and we have a newsletter scheduled on the 27th. Okay, I'm done. I'm done for next month. I don't have to go to my resource center. Okay, I finished my next month already here in class. What if you want to add, uh, once you schedule, what if you add another contact after you schedule? It's going to go automatically, okay? So, so very important. That's how we select groups, okay? Okay, so click on groups. Okay, step A is very important to select on group. Okay, if you have a group called buyer, right? And this group buyer is already scheduled to receive something now, right? And then you add another contact inside of the buyer group, but this group, the buyer group is already uh, in, a, in a scheduled post, right? So anyone you add to that buyer group, that group is gonna get sent to them automatically. Don't matter, if you add them, add them, add them, it's gonna keep on going to that group. Yeah, but you just say address group, but it doesn't say just group, but there's only one. What I'm saying is, we need to designate them go to group. So I don't think we did it. Yeah. So so you should you should have the groups everything created, okay? And I, I'm gonna go over the groups too. Okay. Okay. So so far everybody's clear of what we did so far, right? Yeah. Pretty clear, right? Mm -hmm. All we did go to a month, an unscheduled month, and we just picked three series from the resource center to schedule for the whole month mm -hmm. or for the whole year. Okay. I did September. I'm ready for November, okay? So September is complete. We're not even in September yet. We can move on to November now. I know my clients will receive these uh, recipes. Uh, I know my face will be in front of their emails at all times. If they like the recipe, then they, they most likely will forward it to their uh, other emails too, okay? Because it's really nice content that's on here. So you, you schedule this one a month ahead? Or you, whatever, I mean, it's just, you can schedule Few years ahead, few months ahead, few weeks ahead. Okay, so uh, yeah, so, so so all of them is possible. Okay, now I want to do something real quick. Okay, watch from address book. Okay, when I click address book, you see there's uh, two groups here, right? How do you add groups and how do you add contacts to groups? Okay, it's another very important step too. Okay, let's cancel this. Okay, we're gonna talk about groups and contacts now a bit. Okay, groups and contacts. Okay, from the very scratch, here. Okay. Save this. Okay, this is going to be groups and contacts. That way, you guys know how to uh, nicely um, organize your groups and contacts. Okay, so from the very home screen, right? The very first step is okay. Step one is bhhsresource.com. Okay, and then you go into marketing resource. Okay, step one, everybody should be in marketing resource, in, in the resource center under marketing resource, okay? So let's go ahead and click marketing resource, there it is, okay. Okay, okay. This should look familiar to everyone. Okay, this should look familiar. We're just in the marketing resource, but we're gonna do something different. Okay, step two. It is gonna. We have to click instead of library. We click on contacts. Okay, you see contacts. 
Boom, instead of library, we're going to click on the contacts tab. Right in there. Okay? Contacts. See that? Okay, that's step two, contacts. Okay, now this is how it should look, just like this. Okay? Okay, now from here, if you're in contacts, click on groups first. Okay, you see where it says groups? Okay, click on groups and check what kind of groups you have in there. Okay, step three, click on the group tab, okay? Okay, click on the groups tab right here. Here it is at the green, uh, groups tabs here. Okay, I want you guys to add groups in here, okay? So here you go. Now we're gonna do step four. Add your groups, okay? Example like sellers, uh, buyers, uh, past clients, homeowners, things like that. Okay, so how do we do that, right? Okay, click on add group. Okay, anybody see where it's add group at? Right above. right above that, right? There you go. Okay, watch how I do it, okay? Number step four is add group, sellers, buyers. Uh, okay, you add that group, here it is. Okay, see I only have two micro leads and contacts. How do we add more groups? We click on the add group section here. Okay, add group. Okay, so let's go ahead and click add group. It's gonna give you one box with one field to type in your group name and add the group, okay? Okay, really easy steps. Okay, step five. Name the group and add it. Okay, name the group and add the group, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna name this my buyers I'm going to add the group. I'm going to do add group again. I'm going to call this the sellers. I'm going to add the group. I'm going to do add group again. And I'm going to call this past clients. Okay, I'm going to add the group. I'm going to do another one, call it Spanish clients. Okay, add group. I'm going to do another group, call it Chinese clients. Okay, add group. I'm going to do another one. Um, Okay, open house group. Okay, so, so put as many groups as you can, okay, or however many groups you're working with. Okay, some I see, I see a lot of groups for some, uh, some of them. Okay, so I know some of you guys have lots of groups. Okay, so that's how it should be. Yeah, that's how you add groups in the system. And we're gonna look on how we can add contacts to these groups, right? Okay, that's adding groups. Okay, step five, name the group and add the group, okay? Everybody clear so far on how to add groups, right? Pretty, pretty simple, okay? Now watch, if I go back to my library, okay, if I go back to my library, and when, if I click on group tab on the very top right, will there be any, uh, will all my groups appear there? Right, all of my groups should appear there, right? See, let's do a test, okay, let's check if it does appear. Okay, click on any flyer, click on get started, title it, continue. Okay, we're testing if our groups is actually working or not, okay? Co-agent, here we go, see right off the bat, when you get good at it, you know exactly what to look for. Boom, since it's a single agent, I see yellow here, I know I have to click here and delete everything or type something in here. Okay, type something in or delete the whole thing, okay? When you see these options here, that means Everything's complete. You don't have to do anything else, okay? Now watch when I, watch what happens when I click on the email icon, okay? On the e-cards, it makes you pick a delivery card, okay? That way it looks nice on the email template, okay? So now we have four options to pick, okay? So let's go with the let's go with the very first one here. That's a delivery e-card template, okay? When they open up in their emails, it looks super user friendly and super nice, okay? Right off the bat, I know there's a co-agent here, okay? So let's scroll down and see why that's there. Okay, look, because of this person down here. See, so co-agent, go ahead and do single agent here. Let's see if he moves away, boom, he's gone. Okay, it looks like there's a yellow explanation marks, okay? On the other steps, that said, make sure there's no yellow explanation marks, okay? Two ways, either you can write your own message or delete the whole thing out. Okay, let's see if it gives me options up here. Additional editing is required, there's something I'm missing. Okay, let's go up, let's look for yellow, there it is right here. 
Okay, testing, boom. Let's see if there's any more. Nope, it's telling me to add the recipients. Okay, let's go ahead, add recipients. Okay, very important part, okay? Add from where? Address book, okay? Add from address book, okay? Now from here, where do we go? Groups, right? Okay, see? Now all my groups are here. See, Spanish clients, sellers, past clients, open house group, uh, there's my Chinese clients, and there's my buyers, okay? Now you can select which groups you want this to be sent to. Okay, just like that, see? But each of these groups will have contacts inside of them. Boom, 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 okay? Okay, see, boom. So far everybody's clear, right? Okay, so far everyone's clear? Okay, there you go. There's all your groups here. And you wanna do add selected. And then schedule, and then you pick that time and date of when you wanna schedule. Okay, so we went ahead and confirmed that our group shows up in the system, meaning we're doing everything the right way so far, right? Okay, everything's going good so far. Okay, now let's click on contacts here, okay? Click on contacts. Okay, now, how many of you here have a CSV file of all your database inside? Right, nobody, right? Okay, let's see, uh, anybody here has an email that's older than five years? An email that's older than five years, right? Yeah. Older than five years, right? Okay, yeah. th that means all of you have at least at least 500 and above emails in that five-year email just sitting there collecting dust, <laughs> right? <laughs> there, there, yeah, there, there's tons of emails in that email address that you have that's just sitting there. All the emails you ever received, all the emails you ever sent out to those email addresses, we're able to pull out the core, the whole thing. We're able to pull out the whole thing and upload it into your system, okay? Okay. Uh, how many of you have a Gmail? Okay, Gmail, Gmail, right? Okay, so okay, so majority is Gmail. Okay, watch how I do this part. Okay, if you know how to do this part, then you already a step ahead. Okay, I'm Gmail as well. Okay, watch how I watch how I uh, export my whole thing out, my whole email database, and you'll see how many emails I have in there, right? The database for where? I mean, I mean, I use Mac, then I I have contact from my iPhone. Mm-hmm. They watch this, this something else. Uh, no one shows this, but but I show it to people. Do you guys, okay? This is how we, uh, everybody gets surprised. They don't even realize how many emails they have sitting there, okay? And yeah, so I sit with them, I take the whole thing out, put it in the resource center, schedule how I schedule the months like that, and all their emails, instead of sitting down in their Gmails, it's actually receiving newsletters, it's receiving recipes, it's receiving home tips, okay? It's not receiving, hey, you should buy home from me, okay? It's just sending generic things so your face is on those uh, flyers and materials, okay? See, so everybody here almost Gmail, right? So just easy steps. You log into your Gmail account and you just click on your email, uh, you look, click on your profile icon, okay? Click on your profile icon and you go to Google account, okay? Go to your Google account. Okay, I'm gonna write this down too because this part is very, very important as well, okay? Okay? Okay, I'm gonna write this down because this step is really important. Okay, log into Gmail. Okay, it's called exporting your Gmail database. Okay, Okay. Okay, everybody's clear so far? We're gonna export your whole Gmail database out of your Gmail, okay? The whole thing. And all of the emails you ever sent out, all the emails you ever received. We're gonna take that whole thing out, okay? Step one, log into your Gmail. Step two is to click on the profile logo. What it means by that is this button all the way in the top right, okay? Top right, this profile logo right here, and then you click on the Google account next, okay? Step two is click on the Google account. Okay, here it is. Step two, click on the Google account, okay? Once you click on the Google account, step three, okay, you click 
on data, okay, and personalization, okay. Okay, anybody see that on the left side? Okay, click on data and personalization on the left side here. There we go, data, see that? Okay, we're gonna export your whole data out, okay? Right here, click on that. Yep, data and personalization right there. Okay, so once you click data in, here, in this one, okay, in, the, in this section here, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to where you see, download your data here, okay? Right here, to where you see download your data, okay? Okay. Scroll down to download your data. Okay. Here it is. Download your data. Okay. Click on it. Okay. Boom. Click on download your data. Okay. Okay. Now the very next step. Okay. The second you click on the second you click on your data. Okay. You want to step five. Click on deselect. Okay. Deselect all. Okay. That's. You should see that button. Okay, everybody see that button right there, right? Where? Deselect all. Okay, right there. Where? Right there, see that? Deselect all. Okay, right now everything's checked here. You see that? This whole thing's checked. We don't want that whole thing. We only want that one specific spot. Okay? Okay, let me see your screen. Uh, yep, it's right there. You see my screen? Right there, deselect all. Okay, so select, deselect all. Okay, see that? It unchecked everything. And now we need to scroll down here, okay? You see calendar, uh, your calendar here, classic sites, contacts, boom, okay? This step is very important, okay? So once you target your contacts here, okay? Once you target contacts, check mark it, okay? Check mark only that box here, okay? Check mark it, okay? Very important. The next step after you check mark it, you have to follow the step. If you get it wrong, it will not work, okay? After you check mark, you click on the V card format. And then you change this to CSV format, okay? Very, very important step. You change that from V card to CSV format, okay? Okay, after you select step six, scroll and find contacts. Okay, once we find it, step seven is to Check market, right? And then change from V card to C CSV, okay? So far clear, right? Check market, okay? Boom, we check marked it here. Now we changed it from V card to CSV, okay? This step is very important, okay? Once you check market, once you check market, you have to click on the V card here. Okay, V card format, and then change the V card to CSV, and then press OK, and then you're good to go. Okay, once you once you see CSV format, you're good. Then you can scroll all the way down. You don't need to do anything else. Okay, after you do that, you're good to go. Just scroll all the way down, and then click next step. Okay, scroll all the way down and click on the create archive button here. Okay, once you do that, boom. Okay, give it a second. It's giving it's uh, export your data right now. Okay. Here, step seven, okay? Step eight. Click next and create. Okay. So far, our step says good, right? Everybody's on the same page? Okay. Scroll down and click. Archive, once you do that, it's gonna give you this option here. See this? This is my archive here, it's done, it's giving me a download button. This is my whole database in here, okay? We're gonna check out what's inside my database together. And we're gonna import it to my resource center together too. And then we're going to section off half the people in buyers, half the people in sellers, half the people in past class, half the people in open house, okay, from my database. We're gonna change the, we're gonna put them on all kinds of places. Okay, that way you guys know how to fully use that resource center. 
okay? Once you see this button here, click on download now, okay? It's gonna make you log in just to verify your, it's you. Okay, click on next. Once you click next, it's done, okay? If you see down here, okay, there it is. It's my tick out here, okay? It's that download button right here, okay? Okay, from now, okay, after it's downloaded, these next steps are very, very important, okay? Okay, <laughs> these next steps after you download this file, okay? Watch how I take this file, okay? Okay, so far, these there's eight steps to take to get that folder out of Gmail, okay? There's eight steps to get that folder out, okay? Once you follow these eight steps, you should have a takeout folder right here, okay? This takeout folder. Once you get this takeout folder, okay, let's open the folder, okay? Okay, let's see if everybody, everybody can still be on track. Okay, step nine, okay? Okay, once the folder is downloaded, okay, we're gonna jump back now. Step one, okay? Once the folder is downloaded, step one, right? Open the folder, okay? Okay, step one is open the folder. Let's see where's the folder at, okay? Uh, boom, I see it right here, okay? If you're, if you're using Firefox, it should be up on uh, the top right somewhere, okay? But I'm gonna do it the generic way. I'm gonna open the folder and go to the downloads folder, and I'm gonna find my folder I just downloaded. Yeah, but some people, uh, it won't show up there to make it easier for them. Um, but the best way to do it is to go to your downloads folder and sort it by dates and find that you just downloaded, okay? There's mine here, 822, okay? 822, take out folder, that's mine. I'm gonna go ahead and open it for my downloads folder. Open up a folder, go to the downloads and open this folder here. Or you can double click take out down here as well, okay? Okay, take out, double click. Okay, now this very important step, okay? Go through the whole folder so you can find this one CSV file, okay? You see take out here? Go inside take out folder, go inside of context folder, go inside of all contacts folder, okay? Go inside of all contacts, and then you want this here, okay? This CSV file here has your whole database in here, okay? This is the folder, okay? There's one thing you need to know, okay? The folder that we downloaded is a zip folder, okay? We cannot upload anything from the zip folder, so we have to take out anything that's inside the folder. How do we do that? Okay, watch how I do it, okay? Once I, once I see this folder here, right? You see, this is in a, it's still in the takeout folder, right? That's a zip folder. So all I'm gonna do is, anybody could do it. Once you find the CSV, click and hold, right? And just drag it to the desktop, okay? Just click and hold and bring it to the desktop, okay? drag and hold and bring it to the desktop just like that. See, that's it, it's done. It's out of the zip folder, now I can upload it. Right, so far everybody's clear? Okay, just take it out of the folder, okay? Here we go, open the folder, okay? Step two, locate the CSV file. Okay. Locate the all contact CSV file. Okay, it should be like this. Okay, dot CSV file like that. Okay, step three, drag and drop it to the desktop. Okay, or anywhere you like. Or whatever's easier for you. Okay, drag and drop that CSV into your desktop. Okay, once you do that, you're done. Okay, we do not do anything else. Okay, now we have to open up that CSV file. Okay, I like using Google Sheets, but if you guys use, if you guys like using Excel, you can open it right from your computer. Okay, but I'm gonna do an extra step. I'm gonna open it in Sheets. Okay, so I like going to Google Sheets. For those of you who do not have Excel, okay, if you do not have a program to open that CSV file, follow my steps because I'm gonna open it without having a program, uh, without having the Excel program. Okay, so just go to Google and type in Google Sheets. Okay, just go to Google and type in Google Sheets. That's if you don't have a Microsoft Excel in your computer, download it, okay? Go on there, click on the very first link and go to Google Sheets, okay? See, Google Sheets, go to Google Sheets. And that's it, okay? Once you're in here, okay, very important, you have to click on this button here, okay? That is the file picker, okay? This step, you don't, you don't have to follow it, you only follow this step if you do not have 
Microsoft Excel. Okay. So then once we click the file picture, we're going to click on the upload button. Okay, we're going to click on the upload. Now we're going to locate we're going to locate step we're going to locate step 3, drag and drop to the desktop, okay? We drag and drop it to the desktop. Now we're going to upload it from the desktop to sheets, okay? So let's go to the desktop. There's all my all contacts here and open. Okay? It's uploading it now. Let's see what's inside this thing that we exported out, right? So here we go. It's going to show me what's inside. Okay? You see? This is how it looks. Okay? So we have to go in and edit it. The only thing you need is first name, last name, and email. That's it. First name, last name, email. Okay? You see this? So many things in here, right? Watch how I watch how I edit it, okay? I know that the given name is the first name, and I know that the last name is family name. Okay? Given name, see here, see where it says name? It says Adam, right? It's the first name and killed off his last name. Okay? Do you see an email? I don't, Boom. I don't see an email address. You don't see the email address, right? We're gonna show you where it's at, okay? See see this bottom tab here? Yeah. If you scroll this way, you'll see everything. Okay, but we're, let's edit this first. Okay? You see, uh, you see this middle section we don't need, this name section we don't need. All we need is the first name, the last name, and the email. That's it. Okay? So we can start editing. Here, boom. I can delete. Delete this whole thing. And then additional, I can delete this whole thing as well. Delete this whole column, okay, from here. I can go ahead and rename now. Okay, here I can say first name. Here I can say last name. Okay, now from here, now let's see where else is here. Go all the way to the left here, to this section here, okay? I can hold, see, I selected, uh, I selected C. Okay, I selected C. Now I'm gonna go here and select A, B right here. See that? I'm gonna hold shift though, hold shift. So, and I click on A, B. That'll select the whole thing and then right click and then delete columns C through A, B. That'll delete that whole thing, okay? Now I don't, I don't need D to K, okay? I don't need this whole thing. I can delete this whole thing as well. Delete columns D through K. That's all I need, remember. First name, last name, and email, okay? Now you can scroll down this list. Look how many emails they pulled. I'm still in the A section. Okay, I can keep scrolling, I can keep scrolling. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, okay? All of this came from your Gmail, you, okay? Yours might have 10 times more. You don't know all of this is just sitting there. See, all this email is just sitting in my Gmail, collecting dust. See, I'm gonna take all these emails now, upload it to my resource center, and all of them, each month of the year, is gonna receive at least uh, three, uh, three different series, right? A recipe, a home tip, and a newsletter, right? Okay, almost done. See? So about 1,000 contacts came out of my Gmail. That was just sitting there, not collecting anything, collecting dust, right? See? Now we can pull everything out and upload it to our system and start sending things out to it. Okay? So this is done. Okay? That's how it should look. Okay? So pretty clear so far, right? Okay? If you open it up in Excel, just do the same thing as well. Just delete the column. That's why I said who has an email that has more than five years, okay? If it's five years, then you should have lots of emails in there by now, okay? There were some emails that I did this to and I pulled out 10,000 emails out of it, okay? Some were 17,000 emails. There's lots of emails, okay? There's lots of email addresses inside those email addresses, okay? Email address should be changed to email address, like that, okay? You see it here, it's like junk emails, right? See, you can just delete this thing if you want to, or you can upload the whole thing. And then once you send out anything to this whole email database, you don't have to worry about uh, removing people off your system, okay? All of your materials that get sent out, it has an option for the people that receive it to unsubscribe. So don't worry about... Um, yeah, I was just gonna ask that. Will, will we be notified on that, or is it just, they're just gonna be out? You'll be notified. Okay. It won't, it won't tell you this person is subscribed, but if you go to your contact section, you will be able to see who bounced, who opted out, who unsubscribed. Just like uh, Damien. There you go. Yeah, yep, just like that, okay? So you're able to check from there. Okay, so, so far, my list is complete, okay? First name, last name, email. Okay, that's perfect. Now, watch what I do, okay? File, download, okay? Now, I'm going to download it as CSV right here. See that? Dot CSV. See? That's why I use Google Sheets, it's pretty nice. Okay, file, download as, CSV right there, see that? Now if you look down here, boom, this is my final edited full, this is my final copy right here. This is ready to be uploaded to my resource center, okay? This all contact is ready. This thousands of contacts is ready to be uploaded to my resource center from 
the Gmail, okay? If you have Yahoo, AOL, any other emails, they all of the emails has an export option to where you can export the whole thing out, just like how Gmail has it. Okay, so all the other emails, Yahoo, everything else as well has the export button. Okay, so so I'm good with Excel here now. I'm done. No need to do anything else, right? Okay, I don't need to do anything else. I see my downloaded folder, down, downloaded file here. Okay, now I need to go back. Let's see. Go back to my notes here. Okay. Okay, boom, right here. Okay, we were on contacts and groups management, right? Now we got my CSV. Now we're gonna upload this whole CSV into a group or, right, let's upload it to a group, okay? I'm gonna call a group all contacts, okay? Name the group and add group. So I'm gonna do one more, name the group and add group. I'm gonna do step five one more time. Okay, groups, here we go. I'm going to do add group, okay? This is step five, you click on add group. And it's been recorded too if we jumped, uh, if we jumped out. Okay, so add group. Here, group name, all contacts. And add group, okay? All contacts is here now. Okay, we are ready to import that file, okay? Have the notes up, okay? Importing CSV file, okay? Okay, step one. Step one and two are the same. Okay, so, so far we're there. We're on step two right now. Okay, step three. Okay, Why, what do I mean when I say we're on, already on step two? Because look, it's on contacts already. Okay, we're here already. We already know how we got here, right? Right, marketing resource, and then we click on contacts, okay? Everybody familiar with this screen here, right? We just click on the contacts up here, okay? Just click on contacts, and this appears here for you. I already added a group, and named it all contacts, okay? Now, very important part, okay? Step three, okay? Step three is click on import contacts, okay? Okay, click on import contacts, okay? Anybody see where this is at? Boom, right there, see that? Okay, import contacts. Okay, let's go ahead and click on import contacts here. Boom. Okay, this is what you have here now. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, it says browse. Just click on browse. It's, it's telling you to upload that CSV file. Okay, so I'm going to browse. I already know where it's mine's at. It's in downloads folder. See, this is my, in my desktop. Remember this one? This one's the old version where there's too many tabs. Right, there's way too many tabs. In my downloads folder, there's the updated version that only has first name, last name, and email. Okay, that's the one you want. Okay, open. Okay, here it is. See, so it detected the first name, detected the last name, email address, it does not detect it. So we have to manually go in and put it as email address, okay? Email address did not detect, so do not store. We want it to store as an email, because it's an email, okay? If it doesn't store the first name, Okay, then you just go in here and then you select first name. This pulls it from Excel. Okay, once you have this fully mapped just like that, first name, last name, email, that's the only thing you need. You click on next. Okay, now in this section, I usually do replace. Okay, that way if there's any existing things in there, you replace it with a new one. Okay, I just click replace. Replace all of the existing contacts, details with the information being imported. Okay, next. Okay, usually do replace just in case if there's a duplicate, you won't have duplicates in there, okay? So replace will keep the updated ones. Click next. Okay, now we have to go in here and select the group that it wants us to up upload this whole CSV file in, right? We already made a group, we're gonna upload it into all contacts, see that? Okay, all contacts group, just check mark it like that, and then click on the next step, okay? And now it's telling you to import here. Okay, you can either click here or you can click import down there. Okay, both the same. Okay, here we go. Inserted 1,121. Okay, so I now have. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to my groups. Okay, here it is. 
Okay, I now have 1,122 people in my all contacts group. Okay, if I click on it, you can see the whole database in here. Okay. Okay, boom, there's my whole database. Okay, now, um, now I can fully schedule, see, um, so when I was scheduling my series, right? And if my all contacts group existed and there were zero contacts selected when I was scheduling, and now I inserted 1,000, right, into the schedule post, these people will receive 1,000, uh, all the people I just added will receive that, that series because it's on a schedule, okay? Okay? So any new person you add will receive your scheduled posts as well because they're in that group to receive. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go to contacts here. Okay. Boom, right? So here we go. The contact has all everyone in here. Okay. Let's select uh, one, two, three. And then with selected columns, we can do add to groups. Okay, we selected uh, with these three people we can add to groups and then we can move them to whichever groups now, okay? Okay, you're able to select, you're like, hey, let's see, let me find all my buyers, huh? This guy's a buyer, this is a buyer, that's a buyer, this is a buyer, and this is a buyer. I know for sure these are my buyers, okay? Perform, add to groups, buyers, and then you want to do add to groups, okay? Okay, so that's good. Check out groups. Okay, my buyers group now has five people inside of it. Okay, so is, so you're uh, maybe you're saying, hey, can I put the same people from buyers and sellers as well? Yes. Okay, you can put two people in the same groups. Okay, so you can put the uh, one person in all the groups if you want. Okay, you can put if they're in sellers, Chinese clients, you can put them in buyers. You can put them in all kinds of groups too. Okay, so you can have the same person in multiple groups. Okay, pretty, pretty clear so far, right, on how we can, um, okay, now let me write down the steps, okay, contacts, okay, so far, importing CSV file, okay, click on import, right, once we click on import, you want to, step four is, browse for the document, or browse for the CSV file, browse for the document, step Okay, you want to okay, follow the steps. Okay, step six. Okay, so far, okay, do you guys want me to import it one more time? But not, I'm not gonna import it, I'm just gonna show you the steps of importing. Okay, import contacts. Boom, right there, okay, if you have a CSV file. You click on import contacts. You wanna browse, okay. Browse, just like the step says here. Browse, browse for the document and let's find it. There it is and open it, okay? Now follow the steps to upload. Okay, let's follow the steps now. It says email, it says email here. Do not store, make sure you store the email, okay? Okay, you make sure you have that field in there, okay? Make sure to store the email field, okay, which is this field here. Then you click next, okay, replace, uh, next, okay. Okay. And then go next. And then select the group you want it to upload to. Okay, so select the group you uploaded it to, which is all contacts here. Just like that, select it and then click next step. And then you want to click on import. Okay.
okay? That's the importing process right there, okay? Last, and then you click import and then you're done. That group should have all of your database in there now, okay? Once that group has that database in, now step six, okay? Step six, click on the context tab. Okay, that's the next step. Organizing contacts to groups after you upload it, right? We want to organize these contacts and put them into the groups, okay? That's the next step. Step six, click on the contacts tab, which we did here, okay? Contacts tab, that's what I mean by that, okay? Step seven, select the contacts you wish to add to group. Okay, select the contacts you wish to add to a group. S should be check mark. Okay, check mark the contacts you wish to add to the group. Okay, that's step seven. Okay, step eight. Okay, so let's do step seven together. I'm gonna select one. Okay, select two, three. Okay, all these people here. Okay, I have I have eight selected. Okay, so I have eight selected. Check mark the contacts you wish to add to the group. Okay. Perfect, I have mine. Now step eight is to click on preform. Okay, click on preform right here. Okay, that's the perform button right here. Okay, and then you wanna do add to groups. Okay, step nine, w while contacts are check marked, click Add to groups option from the drop down. Okay. So far clear, right? This is just this is like I'm giving you like the most easiest way of doing this, okay? I'm giving you like detail by detail. Okay. Okay, so here we go. While contacts are check marked. Click add to groups, okay? But before you have to do step eight, step eight is click on perform. Okay, right here, you see that, perform? Okay, I have my group selected. While my groups are selected, click add to groups. See, groups are, contacts are selected here. I'm gonna click add to groups. Now, select the group you wish to add those contacts to, okay? Step 10. Select the group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I want to use convergent, we have to move this that one again to convergent too, or is it interchangeable? Expert, uh, export, export, import. Select the group you wish. Because you don't want to keep making different content. You don't have the same content mm -hmm. as conversion or VHS and your website. Correct, right? correct. Okay, so far good, right? Step 10 is select the group you wish to add the selected contacts to, right? So here we go, let's select our group. I wanna put it in the, uh, let's say I wanna put it in past clients, okay? I'm gonna have my past clients group selected. That's where I want my, that's where I want it to go. That's where I want my contacts to go to and I click add to groups. Okay, now, now once I do that, I can go to the groups tab to verify my past clients has the eight contacts in, okay? Okay, step 11. Check the groups tab to see if the contacts transferred over. Okay. So far clear, right? Okay. Let me. Okay. Steps here. Okay, that's just the organizing the contacts to the group section, okay? That was organizing the contacts we uploaded and putting them into groups. 
Okay. Now, when I go and make my next month, when I go and put in my uh, news, re uh, my recipes. Okay. When I click on a group, now I will see tons of people in different groups. See, when you're scheduling, that's when it comes really effective. You know exactly to who to send it to. Okay. So, 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 so it's pretty effective. Okay. Organizing contacts. I don't have. I have most of my contacts in iPhone and then here Mac. So I have. Your, 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 from your phone? Or phone or, you know, I'm, I'm sick with my MacBook and iPhone, so whatever I contact here. Because I, I did export off of somebody's phone before, and majority of the things that came out was all phone numbers. There was no emails inside of the, uh, there was no emails coming out. It was like really, really, really little emails coming out of the phones. Majority of the things were phone numbers, and we couldn't do nothing with the phone numbers. So the main thing is the emails. Yes, you can. You can. Yep, I'll show you. Okay. So so far, everybody is good with contacts and groups, right? Yeah. From the resource center. Okay. Okay. If I go back to my groups, see, here's my groups. Here's all contacts with one thousand people. Here's buyers with five. Here's migrated leads with three, and here is past clients with eight. Okay. So far, good, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so mine has all types of uh, loan lenders, all kinds of things. Send it out, and on all the materials you send out, has an option for them to unsubscribe. Oh. If they don't want it, uh, they can click on that button. Okay. So, so, so you don't do nothing. Just send it out. If they don't want it, they can unsubscribe from it. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that's how I managed to upload everything without checking it. Okay. Just, just yeah. It's too much work. If you have too many contacts, checking the whole thing through the sheets, too much. Upload it and let the person who don't want it to unsubscribe. Okay, maybe maybe the person you remove might want it. Okay. Okay, so same thing for Yahoo, Gmail, AOL, uh, any kinds of emails you have, all of the options to export is there. Okay, so you can export on all the emails. Okay, if your email is really old, then then you might have a really good email. Okay. Okay, all we're doing is taking all these emails, putting it into the system, like Robert says, is shaking out all the good people out of the email. Okay. This is our gold mine right here, okay? That's what he calls. This contact is gold mine. We're putting it in the system, okay? Now the machine, our system is gonna shake these contacts, okay? All the materials we sent to is shaking the contacts out. It's only pulling the good ones out, okay? Well, out of 1,000 people, maybe I have a couple of good ones in here after the system shakes everyone out, right? Then you will see all the good contacts coming out of it. All the good people are replying to your emails. Uh, they're saying thank you and, right? They come back to you, they're responding. Okay, so that's called gold mine as well. Okay, we're mining these contacts, we're shaking it, putting in the system, the system is shaking the contacts, taking out all the good contacts out of it, and leaving all the bad ones in here still, still shaking it, still sending things to them, all the good ones will come out, okay? Okay, so any questions so far on the marketing resource, contact section, and scheduling posts, okay? So I believe all the steps are here. Let me see if Sam is gonna come over. Okay, contacts and group management. Okay, I'm gonna have this up, and I, I will send the steps to you guys as well. Okay. Let me have up here. Um, okay, Sam's gonna talk a little, little about this platform for you guys. Turbo, okay, the developer is Sam, okay? So he, he came What's up with the idea on? and he managed to build it for you guys, okay? So so he's gonna talk about this tool. Okay, so how many of you guys signed up with Realtors Turbo? Okay, so just one. Yes, it was you. Did you sign up, Sanjeev? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> so usually what I do, I usually charge agents outside this company. It's thirty dollar a month subscription, but with us free. So I'll sign up right now. So go to this website, sign up, so I can give you guys free access. Realtors Turbo, Realtors with S and T U R B O dot com. Like, like show them what it does, and then yeah. we can go in detail. Next page. Yeah, so if you guys go in right now and sign up, if you go in and sign up right now, he's able to waive your uh, fee, okay? So, so it doesn't charge you nothing. Go back one, because you could miss that first. Yeah, so. It doesn't matter, so let me check. So I do see you, Taisha and Sanjeev. Okay. You signed up today. So I'll give you guys one year. I got you. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you see from <laughs> from trial he moves you to premium, okay? That yeah. way you have full access. How can I do that? Just yep, that one right there. So yeah. my um my pro email is where the information sign up? So you signed up with uh oh. Kella Taylor at AOL.com. Oh okay, cool. Yeah. What is this America slash like Los Angeles? Yeah, Los Angeles. Okay, so Kala just got premium. Oh, that's just the timing, so you're fine. Oh, okay. We don't have oh, Sacramento. They passed with the sign anyway. Oh, uh, did you, when, yeah, yeah, you make a password when you sign up. So we need to add it. What's that? We need to add it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, and like just sign in. Click sign up and sign Because sometimes the iPhones will automatically put in other information in there. So when they read it, it auto fills it. So erase the whole thing and just uh, sign up with, the, with your other with your email. So this tool basically automates your social media platform. Right now you're basically logging in, logging out from your Facebook, going back to your Instagram, going to your Facebook page. So what this tool does is you connect all of your platforms in this page and you publish it within one click. So you schedule your contents and stuff like that. Yeah, this is just for social media specifically. There's a tool for everything but for this. You guys logged in? You guys are in? Yeah. Yes. Do hers too, Yeah, so we got everyone's good. This technology is getting faster than we catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. It's yeah. 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 Just come around. Yeah, yeah, there's something else. I don't know if we're getting the ball. This one we can now. We're busy taking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're good. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, so so you see these <laughs> yes. see these three yeah, icons up there, right? You, you no you get lost, yeah. Go to account manager. Okay, so everybody should see this screen, right? This should yeah. be here. Yeah. Okay, you should see a button that says account manager in the left side. Oh, Click on the account manager. I'm, I'm not there. Okay, so 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 your phone here, I'm sure, because it's, it's mobile friendly as well. So so you can just tap right there, and then you should see account manager. As well. Okay, so let's see if you can locate account manager and connect all of your social media accounts okay connect all your social media accounts if you have Facebook you click the plus button to add your Facebook if you have Instagram right you add your Instagram okay and you have LinkedIn you add your LinkedIn and you have Pinterest you add your Pinterest okay Twitter Twitter YouTube and YouTube okay so it supports lots of different social media accounts okay okay see here I have um, I have a couple of pages here see my whole page is managed through this system Okay, Instagram here as well. Connect your Instagram and connect your Facebook, then you should be good to go. Okay, once you know how to use this tool, you, you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be super powerful. <laughs> So this thing is still under development. So uh, log into Facebook as an access token. So go back to Locus Turbo dashboard. Go to Account Manager and click on that. Facebook icon. So you log in with that and copy the whole thing from here. Put your password. Put the Facebook as access token. Okay. No, I. Okay, well, so so in, who's adding their Facebook accounts? Okay, perfect. Okay, so, so so watch how I so very if you're adding your Facebook, watch how I do it. Okay, very important. Okay, watch this. Okay, when you're an account manager, you click add account. Okay, do not click continue with Facebook. Okay, do not click continue with Facebook. Okay, switch to the tab where it says Facebook for iPhone slash Android. Okay, and log in manually to your to your Facebook with the email and password. Okay. So the log in. One that we used for the personal Facebook. Okay. Okay, so you have to log into personal in order for the business to pop up. Okay, because the business is connected to the personal account. Okay, you cannot make a business page without a personal account. Has to be a personal account to, for a business page to be there. Okay. Sam, can you log into here real quick? Log into Facebook. Okay, so so click. Click Facebook, Facebook for iPhone slash Android and log in to Facebook. Okay, watch how Sam does it. Okay, so you just log in with your email and your password. Okay, and then you click get access token. See? Once you click get access token, if you see an error code like this, that means there's something wrong with the password or the email, okay? So so make sure you get uh, a confirmation. Okay, so let's try a different one. Let's see if this one goes through. See error? Don't copy that, okay? Has the session key, boom, this is good, okay? That means you're in, okay? Okay, there you go, once you get this, once you get this access token, okay, the step, just copy everything from the top here, okay, copy everything, okay? Copy the top session key and paste it in the bottom session key, okay, just like that, okay? Copy from the top, paste to the bottom and click add account. Once you do the access token, okay, watch what watch what happens when I click add account, okay? When you do add account, this is where you go and select the pages you want to automate, okay? So you could do your profile page or you could do your business pages here. See that? Here it has your profile and here this is business pages, okay? So here's all of your business pages here. Okay? So here I'm gonna do Berkshire, Berkshire here, Realtors Turbo. Okay, you can select whichever group and whichever page, okay? All your page and group should all pop up in here, okay? Just like that. Okay, and once you selected the groups and pages you want, you click add account. 
okay? And that's it, your account's added, okay? I wanna show you all something real quick with Realtors Turbo, okay? Not only does it post and schedule, I'll paste it right in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, and I click add account. Okay. Okay, I want to show you something really cool with Realtors Turbo. Okay, um, if you if you have a picture and the picture you want to add some nice images to it, right? This system also has a photo editor. That way you don't have to upload into other system. You could do everything in here. Okay. On the very left side, you should see file manager. Okay file manager here it is okay click on file manager in here you should have your whole media your whole library okay from here you just go okay so all these picture ha they all have three dots right above it okay top right these three menus right here you want to click on edit okay click the three menus and click edit once you click edit then you can fully customize this now okay you see in the bottom you can add text you can add icons in here uh, you can do all kinds of icons in here just like that see Okay, like put them here, uh, there's a star here. Okay, you can put the star here. Arrow, you can put arrows here. Boom, you wanna do open house? Boom, you can tap in here, open house. Okay, you see it's yellow? Just change the color. Okay, let's change it. Uh, we can move it wherever we like. So we can make these? Yeah, you can make it right in, right in Realtors Turbo. Okay, you make it right in Realtors Turbo and you schedule it right from Realtors Turbo. Uh, yeah, so, so you see, it has a picture editor and, okay, let me show you this part. Okay, schedules. This is the most important part here, okay? Okay, let's see if we go back. See this? See for August 22nd where we're at right now. S see how there is no social media buttons anywhere in here, right? But if you look on the 31st, there is three buttons in here, right? What does it do it on that day on the 31st? Because there's some icons in there. That means it's doing something on that day. Something is scheduled for Facebook, for Instagram, and for LinkedIn. Okay? So see, so, so on the 31st. Things are going to be sending now. So there's, there's a post on here on the 31st for so Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Okay? So how yours should look is on the next month, on September, okay? September, this whole thing should be filled with icons. Okay? This whole thing should be filled with icons like this. See this? Not only on the 31st. These icons should show up on all of the days here. When that's showing up on all of the days, that means your Facebook, your social media platform is being hit hard. That means you're actively posting, posting, posting. Because look, see right now it's empty, right? Look at this here, see? This is how each day, each 31st, see the 31st? This should be on all of the days, boom, boom. That means you're actively, actively, actively posting on all these social media platforms, okay? This thing right here, boom, should be on all of the days. Does that make sense, right? Okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should say session key, okay? Okay, oh, see? Okay, watch this part. Okay, watch this part. Watch this, part. this part is very nice, okay? Watch what happens when I click publish all, okay? Watch what happens when I click publish all, okay? When I click publish all in the very top here, okay, here is all of my accounts. Notice how this says Facebook page, Instagram profile, Instagram profile, LinkedIn profile, Facebook page, and Facebook page, okay? So it looks like all of my social media accounts are showing up here. So I can post to Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, all three, within just typing in here, okay? So in here I can say, okay, I want to show you guys something really nice, okay? See right here, this new post, right? Watch what I type in here, okay? Watch, watch what I do here, okay? I'm going to open a new tab, 
I'm gonna go to any agent's website, okay? Okay, let's see. Okay, so I go to an agent's website, right? I scroll down, I click on any property, Davis, right? Let's assume this agent likes selling in Davis, right? So there's properties here, right? I'm gonna copy this top link up here, right? Copy, that's all I did. All I did was go to the agent's website and click Davis. I go back to Realtors Turbo, okay? I come back to Realtors Turbo with that link copied, right? Okay, now this, this new post section gives me an option of link, okay? See this button here, it's link. It wants a link inside, okay? This chain, this chain is a link button, okay? Insert the link. It says insert link here. Okay, I'm gonna paste it, see that? It's pasted it and then you click out of it, okay? It will automatically grab a picture for you and put it in there and it will automatically show you how it looks on all these social media platforms, okay? You see that Facebook here? It's how it looks on Facebook. It's how it looks on Instagram. It's how it looks on LinkedIn. It's how it looks on Pinterest and it's how it looks on Twitter, just like that, okay? So this is how it looks on the social media platforms when it's posted on there, okay? And it's clickable too, okay? So you can schedule it right from here, okay? And there will be classes with Realtors Turbo jumping, like deep diving into it, um, figuring out how to do everything inside, okay? So, so there will be uh, long classes for Realtors Turbo too. This is just a quick crash. Okay, that way you guys can see what it does. Okay, it's potential. Check out these Davis properties and, right? Check out these Davis properties, just like that, right? But you put something generic in there. Okay, now we can either post now or we can schedule, okay? Schedule, very important. Okay, click on schedule. Okay, click on schedule. And then you wanna click the time post. Let's post it on, uh, let's do, Let's do on the Friday of next week and press OK. Put the time and date. Okay? Schedule and schedule post. Okay? When you schedule post. Okay, now let's go to our schedules. Okay, now see, look down here. Look, my 30th now has social media icons. See that? So you see these two icons here? And this whole calendar should be full of these icons. That's when you are officially doing the right thing, okay? When your whole calendar has these icons, that's when you're officially out there, boom, blasting yourself, blasting yourself. The next time I type in your name in Google, guess what pops up? One of the things you post in here, what I will at least see, at least some of the things you post on this calendar, I'll see it in Google as well if I search your name, okay? Right now, if I search your name, what will pop up? Nothing, right? Because this looks blank from you guys, okay? Two months or three months of having this full, if I search your name, 100% your name will pop up because you have this whole thing full, okay? Makes sense, right? The more things you have out there online, the more, the more they search your name, boom, you pop up, okay? The more you're out there, the more you're posting, the second I search your name, boom, something will pop up because of something you posted. Makes sense, right? Okay, so that's the goal. Have the whole month scheduled, okay? Look, we're, we're on the 22nd. We're not even on the Friday and it's already have something scheduled, okay? My resource center already has my three other things, uh, my series scheduled as well. And on my social media, all of my content is scheduled as well, okay? So my social media is being managed and my resource center email database is being managed, okay? I have two things being managed. I have conversion managing my website, talking to the leads, communicating with the leads, right? So everything's managed, okay? Any questions so far on Realtors Turbo? Okay, you guys would like to know in depth of Realtors Turbo, right? So we have some classes on Instagram section only, and we have some class on Facebook section only. When? Okay, on Thursdays. Okay, we'll have to check with Sam, see what's his availability to, to come and uh, do it with us. Okay, so we have a class just for Facebook, and we have a class just for Instagram, okay? That way you guys can know in depth of how to use just for Facebook and just for Instagram, and then you can use the publish all to upload to whichever, okay? Pretty good so far, everyone, right? Everybody's clear so far? Okay, everybody will, so, so, so whoever just registered today, you have premium access, so you have the full membership, you can, you can go around and play with it, and mess around with the system before we do a class on it, okay? That way 
gather as much questions. Okay, but that's the goal. That's it. The only thing you need to do in Visitors Turbo is to fill this whole calendar up with these social media icons. That's it. Okay? That's it. Okay, somebody's saying, show me where this is at. So, so you would just go to Realtors Turbo, okay? RealtorsTurbo.com. Okay, and just click on the sign up link. Uh, it should be on the top right. Click sign up. Okay, so just go to Realtors Turbo. Okay, RealtorsTurbo.com. Sign up. And Sam will go ahead and activate your full membership. Okay, play around with the system because this is very powerful. Okay, we haven't so so like if you upload anything on Instagram right now from your computer, it will not take it because Instagram will not upload from computer, only upload from phone. But this system allows you to upload from computer to Instagram. Okay, there's very limited system that does that. This is one of the systems that does that for you. Okay. Okay, if you were to try to upload from your computer to Instagram, it won't take it. Unless you use a tool like this that will help you upload it on there. Okay? Here's Sam, you wanna... Everything, uh, uh, for people who's watching online, everyone's good so far? Okay, it looks like everybody's good. Everybody's good. Dashboard. Okay? Everybody clear so far, right? Okay, I want to show you one last thing. Say, okay, on Instagram, okay, on Instagram you have this thing called the auto activity. Anybody knows what auto activity is? Right? So, who has Instagram here? Right? So, so, okay, good. Okay, so when you post something on Instagram, do you always see some random person going and commenting on your post? Does that ever happen to anyone? Yeah. Okay? Okay, these are the system that does that. Okay, your system does that. A second, somebody based off your targeting, if you want to target Kaiser, if you want to target 24 Hour Fitness, any post around these areas that you target, if anybody posts a picture on that location, it's going to go automatically pick one of the comments you manually put in the system, you set it up, uh, which comments to manually pick and send to that person's post. Okay? So your system's going to start doing that for your Instagram. Okay? Random people. Random people that you pick. Right? Maybe you can do Kaiser here, you can do San Francisco Kaiser, uh, Kaiser there, here, right? Mm -hmm. So you're targeting. So if, a, if, a H, if a RN from Kaiser takes a picture and posts it on her uh, Instagram on that location, your system, your outer activity will detect it. Hey, this person in your target area uploaded this image. Your system goes and picks one of your random generated messages and comment on that person's post. Boom. Yeah, yep, yep. There you go. Nice and cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so this with this turbo will help you do that as well. Okay? Okay, see this one right now. You see the clock is spinning? That means it's doing it in the background. Okay, I'm going to show you what the settings are set to. This Instagram Realtors Turbo, I'm going to show you what the settings are set for this, right? So, real, real quick targeting. I know that this person has the tags and location set up. Okay, so this person is targeting by two things, tags and locations, right? If I scroll down, these are his comments. This is what goes out to people. Hello, with our service you can do this. This is direct messages. It will direct message the people as well. Direct message by new follower. If you get a new follower, your Instagram will automatically direct message based off these three different messages, okay? Four messages. It's gonna randomly pick one and send it to them. Okay, follow, unfollow, here's the tags, okay? So anybody using any one of these tags it's gonna target these tags and comment on one of the tags and like the picture as well. Okay? So it's going to whoever uses the tags, it's gonna target it and comment on that person's tag. Okay? Scrolling down, locations as well. He also has locations check mark, okay? Look at this person's location. He's doing all kinds of different uh, areas. See? Kaiser, California, Midtown Sacramento, Berkshire Hathaway. Anybody around this area that posts, guess who's gonna be there to comment? Your system is there to comment. Okay? Okay, so that's good there. See, this is all his locations he's targeting. Okay, and these are all the tags he's targeting. Okay, 
And these are all of the comments that's going to be posted here. See? Hey, our service provides hashtags and locations marketing. Try it. See? It's basically telling about the system. Are you looking for the right marketing strategies? Boom, see? It randomly picks one of these comments and puts it on the person's post for you. Now, point out, does that make change the algorithm of our own Instagram? Like, because we are now commenting and liking other, other types of, of locations, mm -hmm. species, tags. Does that then, if I go on Instagram, I scroll, or if I go to Explore, or Google, does it then now want to be different based upon uh, the auto activity that's going on? Um, possibly. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're gonna see a change in your Explorer, okay? Because it's doing the work for you, okay? So, so you will see some changes in the Explore section, okay? So, so watch this, okay? Now, you see where it says stop, okay? You see where it says stop? You see this button schedule, right? So you can choose to choose. You can you can have the option to when you want the system to run for you, okay? So it looks like this person has it for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday at two a.m., Wednesday for three a.m., okay? So he has it going like this. See? Very important. Never do all. Okay? Never do all because system the Instagram algorithm will detect your account. And it will do what? <laughs> it deactivate. Deactivate, okay? So 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 we had somebody we had an agent's account being deactivated because they did all. Okay? But we got it back. Right? <laughs> okay? We got them back. So so we learned it. Now this is the way to do it, okay? Don't run it at all times. Okay, run it in between days, like uh, like half hours. Okay, don't run it for all day. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't run it for all day. Okay, Damien's got shut down. Roberto's got shut down. Okay, <laughs> but it's back now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So 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 run it specific days. Okay, don't run it every day because system will track. Uh, Instagram will know. Hey, what the heck this person's doing? Right. So if you do it like this, this looks like you're doing it. Right, because you're in there for a bit of time. You're not there 24 seven, liking, 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 commenting, commenting, commenting. Yeah, Instagram will detect you. It's detect like some kind of spam. Yeah, so like it does fake or spam. Yeah. So they think it's like a ghost follower, how they how they deleted all those people who never was using it. Yeah, people who like five followers. Yeah. Their many followers were like once they like had their thing, everybody like stopped. Yeah, Realtor Turbo. It was like they had like 50,000. This is the Instagram auto activity. Okay. Okay. So, so it should be running like this. Okay. Just like that. It's keep running. It's keep running. It's keep running. Okay. So you have the comments here, direct messages. Okay. It's pretty effective. You can even DM people. Will they DM them? Yeah. Yourself? Yeah. DM them based off targeting or based off new follower. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I follow you, I'm gonna receive a message from you. I'm like, what? That was so nice of you, right? <laughs> I reply back to you, and you see that message, of, right? Yeah. But you pick the direct message. Okay. You can say, hey, um, uh, right? I specialize in your in the area near you. If you need any properties around your area, I'm here for you, right? They think that you typed that for them, but actually, the system you had it pre-typed in the system. The system sent that to them, and then they reply to that message. Okay? Sometimes they'll leave it blank. Sometimes they reply, so you don't have to worry about the blank ones. You just worry about the people who reply back. Okay, makes sense, right? Okay, and that's your direct message section. You can put however much messages in here as you want. Okay, and then this is a class we'll go a deep dive in as well. Okay. Okay, so so I believe that was all for you guys today. Okay, so any questions before we before we move on? Are you gonna you gonna email to us the steps on the? Yeah, yeah. So so I will email you the steps. So we will do this again. The Yep, yep. We will do this. We will do two classes on this, okay? One will be for Instagram, and one will be, one will be for Facebook specific, one for Instagram specifically. Okay, that way we don't switch in between and get confused. Okay, we'll do one at a time. So everybody knows exactly what to do for Facebook and exactly what to do for Instagram. Okay? There's some really good tools in here, right? Look, the live stream feature. If you record a video right now, upload it to your system on your Instagram, it will show that you're actually live. Okay, if I go on your Instagram, it says that you're live, but you're actually sitting over here. Yeah. Okay? So, 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 yeah, okay? So, 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 a lot of powerful things in here, okay? That's funny. Okay, so, so, yes. Like, oh, I think you, you, you were... Yeah, what are you doing over here? I Yeah, recording an open house, and then just... Yeah. I thought you were at an open house.
Yeah, so, so all that stuff's possible, okay? So we're going to go through all that stuff with you guys. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Everything, no, everything's customizable. The whole thing, the whole thing, A through Z. Yeah, you can make it the whole thing into a zoo. Like, hey, check out our zoo, come to our zoo. Okay, you can change the whole thing, the whole theme to whatever you like. Okay, no, he's good. He, he thought about this, and we didn't see nobody that had it, so he was like, let's do it. And then here we are. Okay, so, 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 yeah, I seen the Instagram live, uh, pretty effective. Okay. I seen somebody using you it. Mean Instagram live? Yeah. It'll like start the live. Yeah, it will say it will give notifications saying, "Hey, this person's live right now." And it's a pre-recorded. It's pre-recorded video. So people who are commenting, you just really. It's can't. live. Live comments, live everything. What about you commenting back to them? Yeah, live as well. You can go to your own self and comment in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when you go to your own Instagram, uh -huh. it will show you're live, but you're not live on your phone. So you can check out your own stuff that's live and comment. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so yeah, yeah, so so you guys will have a lot of fun with that, okay? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're, we're good. Okay, so so any questions before we close today's class? Right, any questions, resource center? Any questions on the 